we're live. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Social Majority YouTube channel and check out our website, socialmajority.ca. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Welcome to a moment of joy. Tonight is uh, December 12th. Tomorrow we will lay another candle. Yes. And we'll get into that. But let's read Luke chapter 12 as we continue our Advent here in Luke. Meanwhile, when a crowd of many thousand had gathered, so that they were trampling on one another, wow. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, saying, Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, or hidden that will not be made known. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight, and what you have whispered in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed from the roof. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that can do no more. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear whom, fear him who, after your body has been killed, has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. I tell you, whoever publicly acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. Yes? Did it say that every hair was numbered? Yes. But whoever disowns me before others will be disowned before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When you are brought before the synagogue rulers and authorities, don't worry about how you will defend yourself or what you will say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you, and at that time, what you will say. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Then he said to him, Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, What shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And I will stare, store the surplus grain. And I will say to myself, You have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then you will get what you have prepared for yourself. Or then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be for be with whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich towards God then Jesus said to his disciples therefore I tell you don't worry about your life what you will eat or about your body what you will wear for life is more important than food and the body more important than clothes <laughs> consider the ravens they do not sow or reap they have no, no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than any bird? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink, and do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after such things, and your Father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and all these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock. For your father 
and is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourself that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys, and where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed ready for service and keep your lamp burning, like servants waiting for their masters to return from a wedding banquet, so that when he comes and he knocks, they can immediately open the door for him. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will dress himself to serve. Truly I tell you, he will dress himself to serve, will have them recline at the table, and will come and wait on them. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them ready, even if he comes in the middle of the night towards daybreak. But understand this, if the owner of the house had come, at what hour, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have, he would not have let the house been broken into. You also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Peter asked, Lord, are you telling this parable to us or to everyone? Lord answered, Who then is the faithful and wise manager, whom the master put in charge of his servant? and give them their food and allowance at the proper time. It will be good for that servant whom the master finds doing so when he returns. Truly, I tell you, he will put in charge all the possessions. But suppose the servant says to himself, My master is taking a long time in coming. And he begins to beat the other servants, both men and women, and to eat and to drink and to get drunk. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour when he is not aware of, he will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the unbelievers. The servant who knows the master's will and does not get ready and does not do what the master wants will be beaten with many blows. But the one who does know and does things deserving of punishment will be beaten with few blows. For everyone... Who has been given much, much will be demanded, and from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. I've come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism none to go, and what constraint I am under until it is completed. Do you think I can? I came to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but division. From now on, there will be five in a family, divided in one family, divided against each other. Three against two, two against three. They will be divided. Father against son and son against father. Mother against daughter and daughter against mother-in-law. Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He said to the crowd, when you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say, it's going to rain, and it does. And when the south wind blows, you say, it's going to be hot, and it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know how to interpret this present time? Why don't, why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? As you're going with your adversary to the magistrate, Try to reconcile on the way, or your adversary may drag you off to the judge, and the judge turn you over to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you will not get out until you've paid the last penny. Now, what's going to happen with the father-in-law and the son-in-law? Okay, but that could happen too. There was division in, in family. Five against, uh, three against two. So... If it was even, then they would have got there too. It's just an example, dude. Any other questions? No. All right. Any I mean, uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to clean up the wax you got all over my desk. Uh, any prayer requests? No. All right. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all you give us. We thank you that you're going to return again. We look forward to it. We want to be the servants that are ready and waiting to serve. And we want to serve you from now until that time. 
We love you and praise you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right. So, tomorrow evening at 6.30, we are doing a live Christmas singing event at the park in the center of St. Williams at the Lions Ballpark. We know where the skate park is and all that stuff. So, come sing with us. Also, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., actually, please don't sing. Come and listen to us, and you can clap and dance, but we're not allowed to sing because of, we have to wear masks. But anyways. But you can sing through masks. Yeah, no, but we're, I'm supposed to ask the crowd not to sing, uh, just to listen to the music. I'm not going to, like, rough you up for singing. I'll, I'll, I'll just pretend I don't hear you if you have to sing. Anyways. Um, <laughs> the other thing is, uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., Fellowship of Joy is meeting. So, yeah, come on out to church, and you can catch us. Uh, live right here on uh, on this Facebook channel. So we'll see you at 10 and we'll see you at 6.30 in the evening. And we'll right. see you at 8.30. And we'll see you at 8.30 tomorrow night. Okay, bye-bye.